Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Coffee with Carl. Uh, today's subject is going to be a little bit more granular than usual, but is the Texas homestead. I had a client question come in this week uh, that I thought was interesting, and so I wanted to share the results with y'all. Um, the question was, can we have a homestead in Texas that includes multiple parcels of land? And the answer is yes. So from a Texas divides types of homestead into two different categories. One is rural, which you can have up to 200 acres. Um, and one is urban, or I guess more within the city limits, if you were kind of going to describe it. And it, you can have up to 10 acres in that scenario that you, you can describe. Um, however, the answer is still the same, is ultimately if it's multiple parcels, that's okay, as long as that personal residence shows up on one of those parcels. So um, that's sort of the, the way the, uh, the answer shakes out on that one. Um, I know that's a little bit probably more, like I said, a little bit more granular than usual uh, from a question specific standpoint, but good to note, especially if you're a resident of Texas, because that unlimited homestead exemption is a powerful tool, especially when you start talking about property tax increases and other protections it provides. Now, in a subsequent video, probably the next one, we'll go into some of the exemptions to the homestead exemption in Texas, because most people don't know that there is exemptions to them. Uh, but things like not paying your property tax, you can certainly find your tail in a ringer. Uh, because they can foreclose on your homestead property if you're uh, delinquent in property taxes. Um, so we will, like I said, we'll cover some of those exemptions in upcoming videos, uh, but wanted to, like I said, sort of, uh, I guess, break the ice with a good answer to a good question for a client there. Like I said, with uh, property, um, usually, like I said, the, you can, you, you, the homestead can encompass multiple parcels, whether they're contiguous or not. Uh, the home just has to be on one of the parcels they're claiming as the homestead. So just as a, like I said, quick refresher there. Uh, as always, if you like this content, please um, like and subscribe and share with a friend. Uh, we like producing it, but we also like to know people are watching it. So uh, on the for this round of Coffee with Carl, thank you everyone. And we'll catch you on the next one.